What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new today. <sighs> Today. today I am going to be talking about something I never thought I would be talking about. I'm going to be going over why I stopped using my favorite witch hazel toner. Oh, that hurts. That, it hurts. <laughs> Before I kind of go into it, I just want to say that I am in no way a dermatologist, a esthetician. I'm literally just a skincare enthusiast. I love skincare. I love learning about skincare and how it affects my face in particular. All of this is literally just my personal opinion and my personal experience. You may have very different experiences with witch hazels. So yeah, that's my little disclaimer. Definitely do your own research regarding any kind of skincare you try out. Now, before I get into as to why I stopped using it, let me kind of explain what witch hazel is in general for those of you who do not know. So witch hazel is a natural remedy that is typically made from the leaves and the bark of a plant known as the Hamamelis virginiana. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It has been used for a very long time in traditional medicine and is typically applied topically for a variety of skincare conditions. These conditions can be anything from acne to bug bites. I've even heard that hemorrhoids is really good at helping with hemorrhoids. Now, it typically is able to do this with the help of a compound that is in witch hazel called tannins. Now, tannins is a natural compound that has astringent and anti-inflammatory effects on the skin, which means that it is going to be great for deep cleaning your skin, removing a bunch of excess oil, and it really helps to tighten your pores as well. I actually stumbled across witch hazel when I was looking for kind of a substitute for tea tree because I heard tea tree was so amazing for acne prone skin and I wanted to like it, but my skin just absolutely hated it. I always broke out in rashes after I used tea tree. So I was Googling one day and I happened to stumble across witch hazel. And I was super curious because I kept seeing witch hazel toners literally everywhere. All of these witch hazel toners that I was researching really claimed that they really helped cleanse the skin by decreasing the oil amount on your skin, the bacteria that's on your skin, and any kind of skin inflammation you may be experiencing. And a lot of them help to really help your acne by reducing any redness you might be experiencing and also decreasing the size of your acne. And that was like a huge selling point for me. So obviously, Obviously, I did more research and decided to try out the Thyers Witch Hazel Toner. Now, a few reasons as to why I decided to pick Thyers, mostly because their toners are alcohol free and they also have an aloe vera formula, which is supposed to be really, really good for helping soothe the skin, which I've always had pretty sensitive skin. So I thought this would be a really great addition to my skincare routine. And let me tell you, once I tried this product, I was amazed. I started promoting it in literally all of my skincare videos. I recommended it to friends. It just helped reduce my acne. It helped hydrate my skin. It helped make my skin feel so soothed and relaxed. And at the time I was struggling to find a cleanser that didn't tighten my pores. And this was the one thing that just made my pores feel amazing. I loved how all you had to do was put a little bit on a cotton round and you can just gently swipe it across your face. And that was it. That's all you had to do. You didn't have to rinse it off. I used it morning. I used it night. I used it anytime I was getting a big breakout. Like I would hold it on a cotton pad to my skin and I found that really, really helped with my acne. So I know what you're probably thinking right now. If witch hazel has so many benefits to it and it really, really helped with my skin and my acne, why did I stop using it? Trust me, I never thought I would say this in a million, million years either. So I actually kind of discovered this in quarantine. I was on TikTok one day and then I discovered a TikTok video made by Hiram. If you guys don't know who Hiram is, he has the YouTube channel Skincare by Hiram. He is an amazing, amazing skincare junkie. He has recommended so many amazing and affordable skincare products that are actually really, really good for your skin. He does definitely doesn't get caught up in the height of the packaging or anything. He purely focuses on the ingredients of the skin and wants to educate you on what ingredients are actually doing good for your skin and what ingredients you should avoid, definitely go check him out. I'm going to link his channel down below. But anyway, long story short, he posted a TikTok video. He basically kind of said in the TikTok that this toner in particular can overstrip your skin. Now, I was kind of caught off guard when he said that because I'm like, wait, which is supposed to be amazing for your skin. What are you talking about? Once I've kind of found that out, I decided to kind of go on YouTube and consult a couple of my favorite dermatologists on YouTube. One is actually Dr. Dre. She's not afraid to tell you the facts. She's not afraid to be blunt about <laughs> certain products. So I love her for that. And she actually has two videos regarding witch hazel toner. And one actually specifically is targeted towards the Thyers witch hazel toner. And I'm going to link those videos down below while she does a great job of explaining everything about witch hazel and what it does to your skin and the risks that it can also give your skin, which I'm going to kind of talk about briefly right here. So in the video where she kind of talks about Thyers witch hazel directly, she mentions that a lot of adults can actually develop 
develop an allergy to witch hazel and she also mentioned that by using it you know over a long period of time that you can actually develop a little sensitivity towards witch hazel because i believe she mentioned it had like a natural fragrance in it and fragrances tend to be really irritating towards the skin especially after you use it for an extended period of time and that really got me thinking so i'm going to just kind of take you back to the beginning when i first started using the thyra's witch hazel toner so i believe i started using this product back in 2018 i had just moved into my brand new apartment moving out for the first time on my own now i never thought my skin was crazy sensitive like I knew it was kind of more sensitive than you know most people because my skin always reacted to products pretty dramatically but when I started using this witch hazel toner like my skin was great it felt great but it was only like after a couple months where I started taking showers and when I would get out of the shower my entire face was covered in rashes, covered in deep redness. And I was concerned. I remember being so concerned when I first saw that. I'm like, oh my gosh, is it the water in this apartment that's doing this to my skin? Is it the shampoo I'm using? So I first thought it was the shampoo. So I started changing out the shampoos, which helped. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't realize the shampoos I was using was irritating my skin until I decided to switch them out. So that kind of helped reduce it a little bit, but there were still days where my I was just coming out of the shower, my skin bright red. I'm like, okay, Okay, maybe I'm just using too hot of water. The redness and rashes definitely weren't as severe when I used cooler water versus like warmer hot water. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm just getting older. You know, my skin is changing. Maybe it just doesn't like super hot water. But honestly, I just accepted this. I didn't think anything of it. I thought maybe it's, you know, a cleanser I'm using. Maybe it's something. So I kept switching out my cleansers and switching out all these things. And it wasn't until I started using Caudalie grape water, which was supposed to help help desensitize your skin and I did a whole review on it if you guys want to go check that video out I'm gonna link it in the description box below but it dramatically reduced the sensitivity in my skin and I was like wow like this product is amazing like okay I'm gonna keep using it but then I you know saw Hiram's TikTok and then I kind of looked into Dr. Dre's opinions on it and I started googling articles on witch hazel and the negative effects it can have on skin and I kept coming across things that saying with long-term use or if you use the product a little too often it can actually sensitize your skin thinking to myself okay what if the caudalie grape water i was using to spray on my face like right after i used the thyrus witch hazel was actually kind of diluting the effects of the thyrus toner on my skin which is why my skin was dramatically improving with sensitivity so i decided to just stop using the caudalie grape water just out of curiosity and all of the redness came back i was like what if I just stop using the witch hazel toner? Which honestly freaked me out because I love the Thyre's witch hazel toner. I felt like it was really hydrating to my skin. It's the one thing I used to cleanse my skin in the morning and I thought my acne would surely flare up. But I was like, you know what? It's quarantine. This is the perfect time to try it out. So I stopped using it and I want to say it was about like one or two weeks after I stopped using it. I started noticing how less red my skin was after I got out of the shower. And fast forward to a month later, I'm going to show you a clip of a shower I took literally yesterday. My skin had no rashes on it after a nice long hot shower. I'm honestly blown away by how just eliminating the witch hazel from my routine dramatically reduce the sensitivity in my skin. I noticed also that like makeup products and a lot of other skincare I was using wasn't reacting as crazily with my skin as well. Like there are some makeup products that I know like give me a little rash, but they weren't really doing that anymore, which really surprised me. So long story short, Witch Hazel was actually increasing the sensitivity in my skin. So now you're probably wondering, should you use Witch Hazel? Should you use the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner? Honestly, I feel like you should do your own research on it. You should definitely test patch the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner on your skin. Now it took a couple months before I started seeing the crazy redness on my skin. So I feel like maybe you should test patch it on your skin for like maybe a month or two And I also do not recommend using a lot of it only use it for like short periods of times Maybe use it like two or three times a week max And I know dr. Dre mentioned in one of her videos that the way she likes to use witch hazel if she does use witch hazel in her routine Especially if you want to like reduce the oil on your skin is to use it on your t-zone and then wash it off So that it's not on your skin for an extended period of time, but you're still getting a little bit of the benefits of it So do I still love that? the witch hazel yeah i think it's still an amazing amazing product i'm definitely going to continue using it 
from the neck below though like if i have any kind of acne on my back or something i'll probably use a little bit of it on there but i'm in no way am i going to go back to using it like how i did like keeping it in my morning routine my evening routine i'm honestly going to probably stop using it on my face in general just because of my personal experience of it sensitizing my skin and i'm not just saying it's thyroid witch hazel i genuinely feel like it's just witch hazel in general that has done this to my skin so there you have it that's my experience that's my two cents on witch hazel i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and definitely let me know down in the comments below if you've had any issues with witch hazel or if you had any kind of other ingredient in a product that you realized was totally sensitizing your skin in the long run also if you're new to my channel and really really like me and want to see more skincare and beauty videos then definitely be sure to click the red subscribe button that is right down below and be sure to click the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button this way you will get notified every tuesday and friday when i upload a brand new video if you guys want to check out the review i did on the caudalie grape water and how it really helped dramatically desensitize my skin i'm going to be leaving that video right here and if you guys want to see my most recent upload then be sure to click the video that is right here i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day stay safe and healthy this fourth of july weekend and i will see you next time bye